All right, guys, this is Japan turn to Operation Valhalla, and this is Madman. Here we go. I had $41 to spend. Here are my four on tech. I will be saving $7, and I'll be spending $15 on a naval base and $15 on an air base. Let's mark. I have my attacks marked here. There will be three of them against China, and there will be no declaration of war against the Western powers or Russia. Okay. So one guy from Anway will go into Hopei. Two infantry, three artillery, one mech going into Kuechao. Um, Four infantry and an artillery from Hunan going into Yunnan. Sorry, trying to do this with my hand this time. Three tacticals from the carriers will go one, two into Yunnan and it will be target selecting each one will be target selecting target selecting one cavalry we also have two moves left the fighters from the carriers will also come in there as well just for extra punch total overkill the entire air force in Kwangzi which consists of seven fighters and five tacticals will Air Blitz, Shejuan. Bear with me, gotta move this stuff. And all of those will have two moves left as well. Against seven Chinese infantry. Okay, these fell over. And, let's see. Oh, there will be an airdrop of four infantry from Jahal. One, two, three. Three moves to Yunnan with two bombers. And those will have three moves left. Almost forgot the fighter in Jahal. That will go one, two, and attack Kuei Chow. And that will have two moves left. Okay. No naval attacks, of course, because China has no navy. All right, here we go. I got all my dice lined up here. The first battle, this will be for Yunnan. So three of these threes will be target selects. All right, let me get, get on my tripod here. Okay, here's the three target selects. I'm gonna roll them all together. There we go. Oh, got one, only one. Okay, one of those cavalry is out. Here comes the rest of the joy. B3 three threes for the fighters, six ones with the paragraphs, and two twos with the artillery bumping and infantry. Here we go. And I got one hit with a one. Wow. Wow, off to a great start. Okay, here are, sorry, that should be two ones for the two remaining cavalry. Here we go. No hits, okay. So we're down to one cavalry left for China. Tacticals come back in, rolling at three. Here's everything. That does it. That's four hits. More than enough. <clears throat> the one cavalry. Nothing. Okay. Clean sweep. Yunnan has taken over. Okay. Let's do Kuei Chow. I have one three with the fighter. I have, and I have six twos, because there's three artillery, two infantry, one mech. And there's one Chinese infantry. So I'll put that right, right over there. Here we go. Two hits with two twos. Okay. Well enough, here comes China with one infantry. Nothing, good. I'm liking that so far. Okay. And now, the big air blitz. Okay, I will have seven threes with the fighters. And five tacticals uh, bumped up to fours. There will be seven twos being rolled with the Chinese infantry. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly seven. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, good. Here are the seven infantry. Ooh, three hits. Okay, that's about what I expected. Okay, so I will take, let's see here. Well, all the Chinese infantry are gone, so let me take those off the board. Okay. Let me think about what I want to take as a casualty here. Um, I will take three fighters, actually. Three fighters. Three Japanese fighters off the board. Okay. Let me take this off the tripod now. Okay. All right. Now for non-combat moves. Okay. Two, the two remaining infantry in Hunan, um, they're going to move to Kiangzi. Sorry. The four infantry left behind in Anwei, they're going to move into Kiangzi as well. The two bombers that airdropped into Yunnan, they will move to Kiangzi. Sorry, I'm still getting over a stuffy nose here. Uh, the entire air force that was involved in China including the one in Kuei Chow. Everything lands in Hunan. Yeah, I'll clean that up later. It's a mess. I'll just make a pile of orange here. Okay. All right. Maybe I was just taking this turn. Uh, the guy in Hopei, that was a walk-in, so no need to cover that. See, the Navy in 36 will stay put. Um, the transports, they up in six. Two of them are going to pick up two infantry off Tokyo. Sorry. Two infantry off Tokyo and two artillery off Tokyo. Go down to 36. Remain on the transports. The last transport up there will pick up the lone artillery left there. Go down the 19, pick up one infantry off, off Manchuria. Go down to 36 as well with the rest of the crew. Remaining on the transports. <clears throat> okay. That looks like it. I just want to double check. Yep. Okay. New purchases. Just have two bases. Naval base goes in Hainan, as you'd expect. Air base goes down in Hunan. Okay. So Japan has seven dollars left over. They went up one, two, three, four against China. So they were at 29. They're now at 33. China goes down four from nine. So they will be at five. Okay, so Japan is at 33, plus the 10 for not being at war with the Western powers. That makes it 43, plus the 7 left over, makes it 50. So, there you go, guys. There's Japan, turn 2. Let me know if I missed anything. Oh, I got to do a uh, disposition. That would make a lot of sense. Let me do that just, just for uh, safety's sake, in case we missed anything. <clears throat> there are 6 infantry, 2 bombers in Kiangzi. There are... Let me look here. Eight infantry, one artillery in Yunnan. There are two infantry, three artillery, one mech in Kuechao. One infantry in Hopei. One infantry in Shahar. Uh, five infantry in Manchuria and one AAA. Tokyo just has three AAA. <laughs> Caroline Islands and Palo Island haven't uh, changed from the setup. Over here in 36, I have five transports with five infantry, four artillery, one tank. And the whole starting out-of-box Japan Navy down at 36. And Yunnan. Oh, this is going to take a little bit. Let's just make sure we got everything right here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tacticals, and eight fighters. Eight tacticals, eight fighters. Okay. And uh, that's it, guys. There's Japan. On to America and China. Later.